Hello and welcome to this IAP 2020.1 showcase in which I will show the improvements of our event system. Two things I want to point out in this video is one, jobs now emit events on any status change. If a job is completed, if it's cancelled, if it's paused, we will trigger an event that you can listen to either in automations or in your own applications that you host on IAP. Second, I also want to point out the new abilities of our job event listener task, which now allows to pass in job variables to dynamically specify which event you want to listen to in any given automation. The event system in IAP has been around since the 2019.2 release. An event is defined by a source, which is where the event comes from, a topic, what the event is about, and a payload, what the actual data of that event is. If you want to learn more about events, visit our docs.attention.io page to have many examples, demos on how to use our event system, even either in our automations or in your applications. What I'm going to show today is a very simple automation that uses the job event listener task to pause this automation until a certain event has been received. To define this event, we're going to double click on that event listener task and we see that again we can define a source, a topic and a schema for that payload. In this case, we're going to select App Workflow Engine as the source of our event. We're actually going to pass in the job status that we want to listen to with a form. I'll show that in a second. And we'll leave the schema empty for now. There you could pass in information if you want to listen to a specific job ID that has been completed or cancelled as an example. Could be many other things. I have an automation catalog item prepared for this automation and if I click on run manually it already shows me a form in which I can select which event type I want to listen to. In this case I'll choose job resume and start my automation. We've done a few that and we're going to see that this automation has been run up until the job event listener task and here the workflow pauses because we have not yet received a job resume event. The same can be seen here in the visualize view. I did prepare a simple automation just with one view data task that I will use as an event trigger. I have already started this workflow so that I can, so that I can directly go ahead and pause this automation. Now IP 2020.1 has posted an event that this job with this ID has been paused and everyone who listened to has gotten this event. We though listened to the job resume event, which is why we're still here in our job event listener task. If I go back to job manager to resume our event trigger workflow, we can see that now We've passed the job event listener task because we've received exactly that event that we wanted to listen to and our workflow has moved on. I hope this demo helped shed some light on how to build awesome automations with our event system, how you can dynamically change what kind of events you listen to based on job variables that are either populated by systems you integrate with or with a form, as well as see some new opportunities on how to listen to any job status change. If you want more information about that, feel free to reach out to us on any of those sources. Thank you so much.